today I'm going to show you how I use the Magit plugin for VS Code, or Magit plugin, uh, depending on, on how you want to say it, which has made a real impact into my Git workflow in VS Code. I highly recommend giving it a go. Let's jump in and see what it looks like. So here I am in Magit, which is how I'm going to keep saying it, even if it might be Magit, but I think Magit is much nicer to say. I'm sorry if I've got that wrong. And we can see all the changes that I've made. I've got a new file, the ESDintRC. I've deleted some files, modified some others, and deleted the TSLint. What's nice about this is I can hit tab to get a quick overview. So if I tab on the package.json, I can see exactly what changes I've made. This is very similar to the output you would get if you did it in a, in a terminal. And easily I can tab through these like so. What I now want to do is commit these bit by bit. So I want to commit them in logical batches of changes. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete this extensions file, or rather I'm going to commit the deletion of. So I hit S to stage it. You can see now it moves down there into stage changes. If I hit C for commit, I can then hit C again or just enter to commit rather than amend. And it's going to pop open this commit message window. On the right hand side, it's now showing me the change that I made. So in here, I'm just going to say delete old extensions file. And I can hit save and close that. And you can see that the status updates and that change has now been committed. In fact, you can see it down here in recent commits. Now what I want to do is commit this tslint file because I no longer want tslint in my, in my code base. So again, I'll stage that, hit C, hit commit again, say remove tslint file. Now I want to commit more than one file at once. I'm going to commit both the package.json and the, the lock file. So I hit S on the package.json, then I hit S on the package lock as well. And now I can commit both of these in one go. And you can see now on the right hand side, I've got my package.lock.json. If I, obviously this is a huge diff, so it makes it quite hard. But if I do keep scrolling, eventually we'll also see the package.json change. So I will say here, install ESLint and TS dependencies. Close that. And now you can see we're back to two unstaged changes, the prettier config and the extension. The prettier config is, is actually adding the semicolon. And then this source extension changes are the changes now that I've enabled prettier on this project and ESLint with TypeScript as well. So again, I want to commit both those in one go. So what I can actually do is I can highlight both of these and hit S, and now it's going to stage both of them in one go. So you don't have to stage one at a time. And with that, I'm also going to stage the ESLint file as well. And now I can hit commit, I'm going to commit those, and then I'll say enable ESLint and fix errors. And now this is ready to be pushed up online. 